at various times in the past and in various different ways. God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his Son, the Son that he has appointed to inherit everything and through whom he made everything there is. He is the radiant light of God's glory and the perfect copy of his nature, sustaining the universe by his powerful command. And now that he has destroyed the defilement of sin, he has gone to take his place in heaven at the right hand of divine majesty. So he is now as far above the angels as the title which he has inherited is higher than their own name. God has never said to any angel, You are my son, today I have become your father, or, I will be a father to him and he a son to me. Again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. From the Gospel according to Mark after John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent, and believe the good news. As he was walking along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net in the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you into fishers of men. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on a little further, he saw James son of Zebedee and his brother John. They too were in their boat, mending their nets. He called them at once and, Leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the men he employed, they went after him. Let's listen to Pope Francis' commentary. I discepoli erano pescatori. Gesù li aveva chiamato proprio nel lavoro. The disciples were fishermen. Jesus had called them right into the work. Andrew and Peter were working with nets. They left their nets and followed Jesus. John and James, the same. No one asked them here, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. A daily familiarity with the Lord is that of the Christian. And surely, they had breakfast together, with fish and bread, surely they talked about many things naturally. This familiarity with the Lord of Christians is always communal. Yes, it is intimate. It is personal but in community. A familiarity without community, a familiarity without the bread, a familiarity without the church, without the people, Without the sacraments is dangerous. <laughs>